what I mean by renewed by the Word of God is when you identify yourself with how God sees you not with how the world sees you when we ask right now each person so who are you and people begin to respond I'm a doctor I'm a preacher I'm a husband I'm a man see that is what the world labels us at by our responsibilities by our status by our position and those are good there's nothing wrong with that and there, there are doctors that are sitting here nurses that are sitting here that are husbands and wives children CEOs that are employees janitors teachers all of these are titles but our identity is not that my father who is sitting here in the presence of Jesus his identity is a son when he comes to prayer kneels his knees he doesn't kneel before God as a father he kneels before him as a son I am a pastor but in the presence of Jesus my identity is a sheep not a pastor I am a husband to my wife but in the presence of Jesus I am a wife <laughs> it is kind of weird huh you switch from a husband to a wife and it's not because we have a gender confusion it's that our identity is the bride of Christ and it's natural for the bride to spend time with her husband it's natural for the kids to long for the embrace of their father it's natural for the clay to be in the hands of the potter it's natural for the branch to be on the vine it's natural for you to long hunger and thirst after God come on somebody it's natural when your kid runs to your embrace that is not a miracle that's normal you don't applaud your kids you were radical today why you ran to me no you you think your kid is crazy if he doesn't run, say what's wrong with you I'm your dad when a husband is drawn to his wife that is not a miracle I know in our culture probably it's a miracle now <laughs> but that's natural that's normal when a man dressed up Build, athletic, educated, get kneels before God. That's not radical. That's normal. Why? Because his identity is a creation worshiping a creator. His identity is a son longing for a father. His identity is a bride responding to the passion pursuit of the husband. His identity is a branch abiding on the vine. His identity is a clay saying, oh my father, hold me, mold me and change me. Identity precedes intimacy. Identity comes before intimacy. That's why most of the prayers Jesus said, pray like this, our Father. Why Father? Because Jesus wanted to make it clear. Your prayer comes out of a place of who He is as a Father, which right away makes it very easy for you. You're a son. You're a son. Last week, we had a meeting on Monday with some leaders and me and my wife were running some errands and then we were early for the meeting. And Larissa, uh, one of our leaders here, the meeting was in her house. She's not my mom, so I'm not going to go in an hour before unannounced without knocking, sit down on the couch and go through her refrigerator. But you know who I can do this to? My parents' house. Go to my parents' house. They're not even there. I don't need them to be there. I know the code. I go in, no, no knocking, no alarm, and no ringing the, the door. You go in, sit on the couch and for what reason am I there? Absolutely no reason. And then after I sat for a little bit, got bored, got up and I didn't call my dad. I said, dad, is it okay if I open the refrigerator? No, I went in, I opened it. I only call him, why is there not my favorite drink here? <laughs> okay, I didn't do that. But I could do that. Why do I enjoy the intimacy? It wasn't because that for 19 years I slaved my life for my father. The intimacy that I enjoy is not because of my worth. It's not because I earned it. I was born into it. Your identity is not a behavior reward. It's a birth. That's why prodigal son came to his father and said, Father, I'm not worthy to be your son. And the father stops the whole thing because you're not a son by worth. You're a son by birth. 
you don't become you don't earn it's not like a graduation where you work for the father for nine years and then you become a son it's not like becoming a citizen in america you start with a green card and for four years you live you take a lot of tests and then you become a citizen you were born into that kingdom and therefore that identity is something that's a part of my birth and it right away gives me a free access to the intimacy with my father